When you became disabled, were you ever institutionalized? Paul Spooner, Boston, um, Massachusetts. I, um, my disability came on when I was about seven years old. I have a form of muscular atrophy that's um, progressive in nature, and it first starts to disable your limbs and so forth. And um, when I was seven, I was sent. My parents, my family grew up overseas. I was born in Hawaii lived in Japan, lived in Switzerland. I was sent home to live with my grandparents in Massachusetts in Brockton to get medical treatment because my disability was coming on and they didn't know what it was. And so I spent a number of years being um, at home, basically um, bedridden from various treatments that they were trying to do to fix my legs. and. Ultimately, in the early 70s, I was placed in an institution called the Mass Hospital School. I was placed there in 72 and got out in 74. And that was an institution for kids that were supposed to be mentally competent but physically disabled. And there was a fully accessible grade, middle school and high school there. And I got my last two years of uh, high school at Mass Hospital School. Before then, I was getting, this was before the Individualized Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. So I was got my um, 7th, 8th, ninth, and 10th grade at home. And teachers from the school system would come, you know, once a week for a couple hours. So luckily, I had parents, both my parents were school teachers. So they supplemented a lot of my education and what we would call homeschooling these days, you know, so I, I didn't feel like I lost out in education, but I did get slammed into an institution, and that's a whole nother story about how I basically got out of the institution and things that happened at that place, which are pretty, um, even to this day, horrific and difficult to, um, you want to forget them, but they're still there in memories. And a lot of the people I know today are people who have come from Mass Hospital School. We actually, here at the Metro West Center for Independent Living, have a consumer who's 80, I think he's 87 now, and he was at the Mass Hospital School in the early 30s. So it, it's never very far from your memories or or day-to-day -day interactions. And, you know, being institutionalized is not a, not a pleasant thing.